Invite a budget blind style consultant to show you how to transform your rooms just by changing your window coverings. Canada's number one choice for window coverings. Visit budgetblinds.ca today. Welcome back. As the city of Cold Lake grows in population, there's an increased need for new equipment to combat fires in the area. The new fire hall is rapidly approaching its completion date, and as Hannah Tita explains, new additions to the hall will help Cold Lake Fire Rescue be better serve the community. Construction of the new fire hall is not only coming along, it's ahead of schedule. Originally set to open in May, the new fire hall will now be up and running in April of 2016. Weather has been very cooperative. We had a few weeks of uh, rain in September that slowed us down a little bit in the parking lot area, but other than that, it's been really good. Cold Lake firemen and women have been waiting for over 40 years for a new hall. General Manager of Community Services Christine McWillis says they are building for the future, not only for the growth of the city, but also for the increasing number of volunteers. Cold Lake Fire Rescue is, is so uh, steeped in tradition and so um, valuable in the community. We have uh, over 60 volunteer firefighters and a wait list for people to join. Fire Rescue is partnering with the EMS Society, constructing 10 equipment bays, 8 for fire trucks and 2 for ambulances. Aside from being much larger than the old hall, the new building will also house a training tower and sleeping quarters. This is also the first time Cold Lake will have a center specifically designated for emergency operations. It could be floods, it could be fires, it could be, um, for our community, it could be uh, large plane crashes. Um, it could be, uh, for example, we had that big uh, fire of the uh, apartment building last year that, that took out a lot of, um, of uh, infrastructure. So um, those would be the types of things. The project cost over $11 million and Mayor Craig Copeland says the city is thrilled to be able to provide state-of-the-art fire service. Now by having the taxes coming in from the oil, oil sands on the air weapons range, it's now allowed us to build a fire hall that before we would never have been able to afford to build. The Municipal District of Bonneville also committed $1.7 million to the hall. Hannah Tita, New Cap News. Well, it's been over a year since construction began on a new E.H. Walter School in Paradise Valley, and the project saw a funding boost today as Atco Electric made a generous donation towards expansion plans for the new gym. Nicole Stilger has more. It's progress as usual at the construction site for the new E.H. Walter School, but today there's another reason to be excited. Atco Electric donated the first of two $5,000 installments towards expansion of the new gym. Coordinator for the fundraising committee, Amber Fair, says they've been fundraising for this project for the last year. ACO came forward and said that they would love to support our community in this and has donated $5,000 for this year and $5,000 for next year. We are very close to reaching our goal of $1.36 This brings us within $30,000 of that donation. So we are excited when different companies come forward and support us in this way. Customer Service Supervisor for Atco Electric, Perry Flowen, says Atco's involvement with Paradise Valley has been ongoing since 1945, and that giving back to the rural centres is important to them. It's sustainability of, of the small centres. I mean, they're, they're the backbone, I think, uh, to where we all came from. Uh, it, it's nice to be able to, to help them out. The initial size of the gym was too small for what the community wanted, so the new plans will increase the size from 400 to 650 square metres allowing not only the school, but the community to use the facility. We'll be able to host different provincial events. Uh, we'll be able to have two cross-court volleyball going at the same time. And the community also fundraised to have a stage so we can have theater groups come in and just many different events to be able to provide for our school and community. Fair says construction is coming along quickly and the new school should be ready for September of next year. Nicole Stilger, Newcap News. The National Beef Strategy is topping the agenda as the Saskatchewan Cattlemen's Association is holding several district meeting, meetings across the province. A growing global demand is presenting Canada's beef industry with a chance to stake its claim with quality beef products. In this week's Agriculture Report, Gerard Lampau previews the build-up to the meeting in Lloydminster. The meeting will start at 7.30 and supper's before that. Area producers will meet at the Lloyd X grounds on Wednesday as the Saskatchewan Cattlemen's Association is hosting district meetings across the province. Several hot-button topics are being discussed as Canada seeks to position itself to benefit from high global demand for beef. The national beef strategy is seen as the way forward. 
It's moved from being an idea to being something that's costed out, and and to, to move ahead with that strategy and achieve it, it's seen as needed, needing uh, an increase in the national checkoff of a dollar fifty per head. So for a Saskatchewan producer, right now we are paying three dollar levy for all our cattle sold in Saskatchewan. That would put us up to four fifty. The association will report on resolutions passed at the last annual meeting, reviewing producers' checkoff funds invested and upcoming plans. We're going to have Saskatchewan Crop Insurance is going to be one of our guests there, and they're going to have some of their members speaking about um, the price insurance program, but they're also really working hard on the forage insurance program. For Ryder Lee, who came on board as CEO of the association in July, this is a chance for him to personally meet the membership. You can come to the exhibition grounds there in Lloyd at 6.30 on the 4th, have some supper, and a big part of an operation too is, is having a little eyeball on other people around you. Gerard Lampau, Newcap News.